Hi there, Roger Connect, President, Universal Accounting Center, and I'm here with Adam Lane, co-founder of the CFO Project, and Jeff Prager, the other co-founder of the CFO Project. The two halves of the co. I'm actually excited to have you listening to us because we're talking about offering quality advisory services. Accounting professionals oftentimes find themselves in unique relationships to offer quality services to their clients that exceeds just the traditional accounting. So, what kind of services are available for an individual to offer with, as they're working with business owners at an advisory level? Well, so the business owners have a lot going on. They're overwhelmed, they're stressed, they're confused. They want somebody that they trust to tell them what to do to have a growing and more profitable business. And financial people, bookkeepers, accountants, most business owners already trust them. So why don't you leverage that trust to give your client what they really crave, which is direction on having a growing and more profitable business. They will, they will love you for that and they'll, they'll, they'll keep paying you for years. Exactly, as a trusted strategic advisor, you're already aware of the intimate information of the business and here's your opportunity to, with that perspective, give them information that they can utilize to run their business more intelligently. So what are some of the challenges an individual may face as they're actually trying to offer advisory services that they may not be aware of but need to be uh, conscious of? Well, number one, your owners don't really appreciate looking at numbers. Most of them are intimidated by numbers. So what we do is we create a scoreboard in red, green, and yellow to show them each of the uh, aspects of their business that are working and not working. And we call those drivers, the things that drive what you see on the financial statements. So by going after the drivers and helping them with what's causing the results they see in the numbers, we are now becoming very proactive, forward-looking, both strategically in terms of the business and the financial side so that they could grow their business better, faster, more efficiently. You know, Jeff, I'm glad you brought that up because as accounting professionals, one of the things that we're clearly aware of are the key performance indicators. Mm -hmm. And helping the business owner identify what are the leading and the lagging indicators of their business helps them better manage what's going on. And those red light, red light, uh, red light green light, yellow lights, those help prioritize where the attention needs to be given, right? Exactly, and, and it goes beyond that. By focusing on just one or two of the red lights or yellow, you could move the trajectory of that business, not only in the next 30 days, but for little changes over a five year period could have immense um, effect on their cash flow, as well as their profit and top line growth. Perfect. Now let's talk about what does the word CFO mean? For a lot of accounting professionals, they're doing the accounting, but how does that change when you take on the responsibilities or the, let's say, business role of a CFO? What does that really mean? Yeah, so that's a good question. CFO means a lot of things to a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. we, we say that a CFO's job is to help a business owner figure out how to make more money. The CFO for Coca-Cola does that exact same thing. And so what we say is that a CFO is needed for any business, small or large. So a CFO helps a business owner figure out how to make more money. Yeah. And that's, I mean, when you boil it down, that's what it is. A CFO is not a head accountant. A CFO is not just for Fortune 500 companies. A, a good outsourced CFO can be used by any business and, and in fact, any business, whether they call themselves a CFO or not, any business owner wants somebody that they trust to tell them what to do. And we say, become an outsourced CFO and do that exact same thing. Exactly, so the, the CFO is essentially helping an individual as they're running their business, identify the margins, take the accounting information and find that top line, bottom line, profit, all those things that are basically making up the success of the business. But more importantly, helping them perhaps find capital, the venture capital, the investment, the banking, the lines of credit, it's helping them get all that information and those relationships right. that they need. And know when they need it before they need it. That's right. That's really important. And like a lot of people, a, a CFO not only concentrates on top line and bottom line growth, but having more cash in the bank tomorrow than you do today, than you did yesterday. And that's really important and what we've done is to make this affordable to the small to medium-sized business, we created a system. 
six steps, and you follow these month after month. Now, Adam's longest client is seven years. I'm a little older than Adam. <laughs> My longest is 25 and still going. It's routine revenue forever if you do this right, just by following a simple system. And you don't have to know everything. That's the greatest part of this. All you have to do is ask the right questions. I'm so glad you said that. Yes, very, very true. Yeah, and as CFO, the six steps that Jeff's referring to, you know, we say a CFO helps a client make more money, but those six steps really cover three things. A CFO helps the business owner track profit and cash flow. Second, analyze the strengths and weaknesses of the business. And third, propose corrective actions, which is the most important part. We help tell the business owner in clear, plain language, here's what's going right, here's what's going wrong, and here's what to do about it. And that's it. And the business owner doesn't have to pour over financial statements because they don't want to become an accountant. They don't want to be an analyst. They want to do the thing that got them in the business in the first place. A dentist starts a dental practice because they want to be a dentist. They just want somebody that they trust. And we're, we're saying that's, that's you. Anybody that wants, that's an accounting or, or a bookkeeper, they want to trust, they trust you already. Leverage that trust to help the business owner make more money. Perfect. You know, I love the fact that we're discussing a system, a process that when implemented, enables the business owner to work with us as accounting professionals and improve the business, make it better, grow the business, which is ultimately what we're trying to do as we contribute to that business experience. Exactly. Um, it, it, most of them do not want to see more numbers, more graphs, stuff like that. They just want to know, what do I do next? You can boil it down and you get paid a lot more because the value you're adding is significantly greater than handing them a couple of financial statements where at best they look and see if they're the bottom line. That's right. But they don't know what it means. They don't have a context They for just it. want to see is it in red or in black. Right. That's yeah, all that's they're right. wondering. That's so, right. so let's talk simply about some of the practical parts of this. First of all, what is a fractional CFO? What is an advisor? What is that defining characteristic that defines the relationship that we're having with the business owner? Yeah, so we actually specify, we, we think there's a big difference between a fractional CFO and then something that we're proposing. Okay. A fractional CFO is somebody that typically comes in and solves a specific problem, like helps the business owner raise more money or you know, fix their you know, particular operational issues in their business. So they come in, do a job and leave. The problem with that is it relies on the client to know what's wrong and know what to do to fix it. And so they go out and hire a fractional CFO. Most business owners don't know what's wrong. They're overwhelmed. The dentist is an expert in dentistry, but they know something's wrong. They just don't know what. What we're proposing is to come in and be your client's advisor month after month, year after year, not on a fractional basis, but on a, as a relationship basis. And so you meet with your client once a month and propose corrective actions and help the client understand what exactly they need to do to improve their business in, in a language that's easy for them to understand. Perfect, you know, one of the things that I really propose is as accounting professionals, we need to take what we're already doing, those quality accounting services related to tax and financial reports, and up our game, improve the relationships that we have with our clients, and this is a service that you should be paid for that's above and beyond the accounting services you're already providing. So this is obviously an additional revenue stream for you to actually complement your business with the services that you can enjoy and really make the difference with your clients. Would you agree? Yeah, it's a, it's a predictable, consistent, sustainable cash flow for your practice practice. That's what we're wanting, right? So in addition to this, let me invite you to find out more what it is you can implement these strategies within your firm to help your clients becoming for them this CFO and advisor that they're needing. It allows you to charge more for the services that you're additionally offering and really make a difference in those clients' businesses because you're now changing the relationship that you have with them. Take advantage of this. Check out the information below as to how you can learn these principles and apply them with confidence and competence in your business. And why? because if it's about accounting, it's universal. Take care and have a great day, you guys.